Hello there again. My name is Scott Lynch. Y'all have seen a few of my videos before. This here's my family. This is my mom. Patty. <laughs> Patty. West. <laughs> I'm Patty West. My mom. You've seen her in a few other videos. There's one beside me here. This is my older sister. And her name is? Sheree Nelson. <laughs> and Sheree Nelson, just for the record, how old are you? I don't know. <laughs> we don't discuss Just that. a little older than you. I'm three years older than Scott. And how old is Scott? <laughs> it's not important. Scott is 39. Uh, we do have one other little sister. She's not here right now. She might be in the video later on. We'll find out. Anyways, little bit history. I've been wanting to do more uh, video just like this. Originally, it was going to be just me and my mom. But it was actually weird. I was wanting to do that one yesterday. But now we are here in Kentucky, which is about eight hours away from mom. And we have my older sister here. So I thought, you know, it might be better to get to know me with two other people here. We'll go ahead and we'll start off, you know, about some of my history, about some of the things I've been through. First off, we'll start with, you know, how I was born, or not really how I was born, but when I was born. <laughs> Well, pretty much the first symptom that Bob noticed about me, and that would be... When you started walking. So, we noticed that uh, you were having, you were stumbling a lot and falling. And uh, my mom, actually, is the one that said that he wasn't walking as well as he should. So, it wasn't till you were probably seven or eight years old before we went and had anything tested. And, um, and then they... It took a, I think we took you to an orthopedic first, and then they sent didn't us to. That, didn't it start though? Because he had that place on his knee, and he fell over and over and over again, and kept busting that knee back right, open. Right, right. I feel like that kind of started some of it too. Some of the questioning as to why and you he was were, falling so much. It's just accident prone. Just a little, to say the, the least. <laughs> We won't go into all of them, but I know he pulled the um, ironing board down and pulled the iron on him and burned his burned arm. His arm and, yeah. Pretty bad. So just so it was a neurologist, injury. though, mm -hmm. that finally diagnosed you. And I think you were nine, ten years old, maybe. Do you remember? I how was old? in middle school. You were when we yeah, diagnosed? I was in middle school. And I remember we went. We first went to Zucker in Louisville, Kentucky, which is close to where he lived at. Well, from there, he, he told me to go to a specialist. We to read the Washington School of Medicine, yeah, which was in St. Louis, Missouri. And one thing is, my dad had always told me, you know, as a joke, he always say that gun come out with needles this long <laughs> and shove them into you. Well, he forgot to leave out the part that you let needles. They shoved you let needles that were that long. I swear they were poking through my arm. And they were electrified as well. Hurt like hell. <laughs> So anyway, uh, we found out what he had and learned a little bit about it and then just went on with life. So, you know, I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll figure it out along the way. And we have. So we're at Cherie's house now. And when we come down, the only thing that we bring with us is the Hoyer lift. And we use that mainly to get him uh, out of the bed. So we, we have this cot. Where did you get it at Costco? Sam's. It's Sam's. Mm -hmm. It's just a folding cot, and then he actually does okay in it. He doesn't fall out of it. We can get him in the cot without the Hoyer, but to get him out, we have to use the Hoyer lift. So that's the only thing we bring with us, and uh, we can travel pretty good and get around as long as I've got help to get him in some ramps. In, in ramps, we've got some ramps. Because I do have stairs yeah. um, coming in and out of the house. And so um, they How just many is in the garage? You've got like three, four, three or four steps. Just three. So I have a set of portable uh, ramps that extend. They telegraph. Is that the correct tele? Is that where you say it? Telegraph out. They extend. They, they extend out. Whatever the word is you use for that, and then they uh, <laughs> we put two of them down and get them at the right distance apart. I got nothing. And push him up. So and if it works out well, we'll actually do a little bit of video. So now we use those ramps tomorrow morning when we head out. If we have time, we're heading back to Charlotte exactly. tomorrow. So. We have a gum and uh, might do that tomorrow if there's time. What about you, Sherry? What's the first thing that you noticed? I don't know if I remember the first thing that I noticed. Um, I, 
I do remember there being lots of accidents when we were kids. Um, I can remember multiple times, you know, either mom or dad, one saying, hey, we, we've got to go to the hospital. <laughs> you need stitches. Yeah. Get dressed. We're leaving. Yep. Um, never really knew what the issue was. We just, we left and we'd go get that taken care of. But um, it's been comical along the way. Um, we've had a couple instances when he got older and we would go out with friends um, before... <laughs> before he was in his wheelchair and he was able to walk some, we would support him. So he would have an arm around me and an arm around whoever we were with. Um, my husband now, um, at the time when we were dating, we would take him out with us sometimes. And, um, you know, we walked up to a U L game and we're holding on to him and they're like, he can't come in here. He's, <laughs> he's had too much alcohol. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> this happens all the time. <laughs> So, it's, no, it's normal. It's, it's normal. Um, so I just remember silly things like that, um, you know, along the way. I don't know that I can remember how it started. <laughs> but I do remember those fun times. And I, there have been other times like that, too. We've been out celebrating, like, especially, let's see, the time I can talk about with you when I was at your old place. And this will be something I which by the way, we have moved all over the country now. But we know Zelda, we, I think it might be the dairy parties or whatever. We went to horse getters that night. Went to this little bar. Yeah. Same thing. Went in, we had my husband and the a- The bartender was nice enough to let me in at first. Yeah, so we were, you were in it, were you in a wheelchair full time there? Yes, I was in a wheelchair, but you decided that the best idea would be to leave the wheelchair in yeah, the truck. Yeah, leave it in the car, and we would just help you go in. So we did the same thing, packed him in, and they told us he couldn't come in, or they wouldn't serve him. The well. I'm like, no, 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 he's, he's not drunk. <laughs> he's this way all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they felt the well, it was funny they, it's they time because, enough, but at the time the bartender drinks. felt really bad about it yeah so and we told her that you know what it was and we set him up the bar stool had a back on it so we put him in the bar stool and when she found out that it was something medically wrong she felt really bad but we all just laughed about it so we just laugh and go with go it. On. We all have our quirks about mm -hmm. us so <laughs> it's good stories to tell later it is oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, that same process, we made some good friends along the way. Like I mentioned, we've lived all of the country now, and we all have. Sure, he's pretty much seen this same area the whole time. We keep coming back. Yeah, I'm not sure why we come back and visit her. <laughs> but anyways, a uh, little bit more about my sister. She does have five kids. And do you want to talk about any of them right now? I'm good. <laughs> I don't believe, you. especially that little one is not much. You will come over here. Come here. <laughs> this is uh, the youngest here one. Here he comes now. What is your name? Ian Nelson. And he's never that quiet. And, <laughs> yeah. He's normally the loudest one of the group. He That's yells, not true. <laughs> yells and screams. And, not my fault you always try to bite me. <laughs> What I don't you know tell? what you're talking about. You got any stories you want to tell about your uncle? Uh, he always just tries to bite me. He tries <laughs> to bite? He bites, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They make up stories all the time. Yeah, sure. Samantha. Hmm, Samantha, you want to come here? I don't think, I think she's got her earpods in. Oh, okay. Uh, well, well, there's no one in there, but has her earpods on, so that can be But anyways, it's just a little bit about who I am. Um, I try to have fun doing what I can. And we're always ready to leave. We came here in a heartbeat. Well, I guess you can say that we came here in a hurry. Because they was a little family issue, but I have gotten that take care of now. But anyway, it was that we ready to go whenever we can. And we be afraid to go wherever, whether it be a hotel room, whether it be here in my older sister's house, your sister's house, where the case may be. We always are trying to be ready to go whenever we can be. If as long as I've got people please. around to help. With, uh, sure. As long as I've got enough people around to help with him. We're, we pretty much go wherever we want to. Mm -hmm. So um, as long as 
got people around. I've got the Hoyer. Um, I've got a couch. A lot of times Scott will sleep on the couch somewhere, which is easy for him. Um, we make do. So I know a lot of people with Friedrichs uh, feel like they can't travel or can't get out. And this is kind of like uh, to help people realize it. Yeah, there's ways around it. And um, we don't get uptight about too much. We actually kind of have fun with Scott. Kind of poke at him every now and then. But he's a good sport. He takes it well. <laughs> I feel like another um, thing, look good back home all the time about things. We all do stupid things all the time. Like, when my daughter is here, it just makes all up doing something very stupid while you go. <laughs> but that's only like what the fifth thing you've done today, like that. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, anyways, yeah, what was that one thing we talked about the thing while you go? Well, I, think he's, I think he's about ready to end his video. Yeah, the end of the video, with? what did you want to do? Oh, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> well, I tried to cover with a little bit more of base, but thank you for watching. If there are any questions, please leave us comments. I'll go ahead and do it. I can answer them. And of course, I can always do more videos later on, just like this. Play on doing one, play a little stir what you get here. But we'll be back here at the same location. In about two or three weeks, and have a little student, the whole family might be able to do more. Like that, thank you for watching. <laughs>